wonder shall never end. You see, uh, sometime last, some days ago, we heard that uh, Oni Ofife ordered the guards to send, uh, to pack all Oluru TikTok stuff and send it back to her in Ikui, that she will not be staying in the palace. A lot of people were asking why, why, why. Then I told you guys that he, he is the only one that knows the reason, but the moment I find out the reason that I am going to bring it here, some people said it's because he have found out the level of jealousy that uh, all of the TikTok have against Queen Naomi and all of that, that that is why he doesn't want them to stay together. But right now, a lot of people have come out to tell us the reason, and the, the reason is hilarious, seriously. According to the information, we have been hearing most times that KBSC used to arrest some of the guards or the staff whenever they misbehave. And sometimes when he arrests them, the family of the person will have to run around, gather money and come and beg because they will have to beg. You, that you have the money, you cannot just go and release your word just like that. So then one lady that is uh, 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 Dr. Elizabeth's maid, they wanted to put her into trouble because it's most of this trouble that when they enter it and they were unable to finish what they started and they, they catch them, that is when you hear that KBS got them arrested. Just like he arrested two guards the other day that wanted to smuggle uh, Olori Mariam's people into the uh, palace to go and do the ritual that he, he stopped them from doing. So this particular uh, maid, they said uh, other maids started calling her. Telling her that they wanted, uh, they wanted her to do a job for someone, and they offered him. At first, they said they offered her two hundred and fifty thousand just to do the job, and she refused because that job is not something that she would want to do. And considering how good Doctor Elizabeth is to her, they said the job is to get Doctor Elizabeth's phone. You know. Let her phone miss, as in let it be that uh, she, she lost her phone. Whereas she will be the one that collect the phone and deliver it to the people in question. And at some point, when they said they offered her 250000 then she refused. They did not stop. They keep impressing her. It got to the point that they agreed to pay her 500000 She refused. At some point, they said they wanted to pay her uh, 750000 and how smart this lady is, they said, anytime they call her to make this request, she will put it on record. She will be recording it, you know. So that particular day that they offered to pay her 750000 she demanded that she would want to see the person that she is doing the business with, you know. And they told her to come to social place around Ojajamo uh, at social time, that if she's coming, she shouldn't come with her phone. That is what they said. They told her, and she said, "Okay." Oh. So, what? Well, before she went there, they said she hid her phone somewhere in her body. She did not go with handbag, and uh, she put it on record. Then, on getting there, uh, she find out that the person that she had been speaking with all this while happens to be uh, one lady that is in charge of the staff. A uh, one lady that is working with. Uh, all over the TikTok. The lady is in the palace right now, even though the uh, all over the TikTok is in Hikui. They said the lady is in the palace, you know. So she's taking care of her stuff in the palace, and maybe this that, this should be the person that have been giving her all the information about what is happening in the palace. They said the woman told her how she is going to do it. They are going to pay her uh, uh, very heavy and all of that, and she was surprised and shocked. Seeing that that person is the woman that is working for Oluru TikTok, then she asked them, "What are they going to do with uh, 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 Doctor Lizzie's phone? Because you get a CV now. What are they going to do with her phone? Is it that they want to use the phone to set her up, or they want a particular contact from the phone? Because if it's about contact, they can tell her, okay, get the contact now, you know." Because bringing someone's phone just like that, one is that the phone is very expensive. Two, the contact alone, so the contact that if she misses it is going to be a very big problem again. She was asking them and they told her that that shouldn't be her business. That what matters to her is that they are going to pay her huge amount of money. And they said while they were doing all of those things, she was recording it, but they don't know. So, 
When she returned back to the palace, she knew that she cannot do it. One is that they said Dr. Elizabeth had been so good to her. Dr. Elizabeth had been taking care of her very well, more, more than a, a madam can take care of uh, her maid. So that was how they say she brought her phone, went to Dr. Elizabeth too, and uh, played all, starting from when it started till the day that she went to uh, meet with the lady in question. Although she did not capture the face of the lady, but she knew the lady that they are working in the palace together. So they said after showing Dr. Elizabeth that uh, video and everything, the recording and everything, they said Dr. Elizabeth was shocked. As in, she was shocked, so it has gotten to this extent. What would they be doing with her phone? They said that thing did not, uh, as in the thing, she was afraid of the palace at that point. And after that, they say she took the evidence and the girl to go and meet Kabiesi. So, Kabiesi was surprised too. How can this be coming from this uh, 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 TikTok? You know, one thing about this Oloru TikTok is that she has failed to learn of all that she has been doing against Queen Naomi that is backfiring. Or maybe she will say, okay, let her try, Dr. Elizabeth. Since getting to Queen Naomi is a very hard knock, hard knock to crack, then she switched to Dr. Elizabeth. Thank God for the kind of a person that is working for Dr. Elizabeth because if they are the kind of guards, some of these guards that wanted to smuggle. Uh, uh, old and Tevira people into the palace. They would have collected the seven, even self, they would even collect the 250,000 and bring the phone. Does it concern them? Whatever they like, now they let them would do with the phone. So they said, after KBS listening to the message, that was why they said he gave the guards order to pack all her remaining stuff right there in the palace and send it back to her in Ikoi that she cannot be in the palace with her type. That even if she is lucky enough that the twins are later welcomed into the palace, after the welcoming party of 18, that they are going to return back to Ikoide, but she is not going to stay in the palace. So, they say when this information got to Kuinami, Kuinami was shocked. Although she shouldn't be shocked because she, she should know that these people, they can do anything. They can go as far as Anything just to ensure that they get they get what they want. But my question is, what are they doing with her phone? What do they really want to do with the phone? Anyway, guys, I don't know. Whatever you think about it, share with us on the comment section. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. As I see, I'm for social media and so I bring and come share with on here. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support for me. Thank you. Bye for now.